Big Polly's World of Sports Sims presents the Grand Slam Wrestling Match of the Week, and on this edition, we're at week number four here in the GSW. It is a GSW All-Star card, and the main event you are about to see, the World Heavyweight Champion Jim Lundos defending against Jerry the King Lawler, the King getting a rematch after losing the world title a couple of days ago. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you see this. How you doing, folks? Big Polly here. And this is a part of a GSW All-Stars card that I'm going to hold every fourth and eighth week of the quarter, the year being divided into 13-week quarters. And then we have a super card on the 13th week, the first being Grapple Fest 4 at the... Uh, somewhere in Seattle. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do with that. I guess we could do it at the Kingdom, since, you know, GSW spans all corners of time. And tonight we have the rematch... And I'm on camera and I got a cough. Hang on, folks. For the World Heavyweight Championship between Lundos and Lawler, Lawler was champ for two weeks, was the shortest reigning World Heavyweight Champion ever. He lost to Lundos. Now, Lundos could also tie the record for being the shortest reigning champion uh, in GSW history. And we are going to give, show you the roll call of champions here as soon as I can pull it up. It has changed since you uh, you were here last because we had a lot of title changes today as I bring up my wrestling's finest. Actually, it is not up. Somehow I managed to turn the program off. So stand by, please. I'm going to switch over. And I'm going to have to do a little editing because there may be some um, music that violates BMI and ASCAP. If I bring up the uh, the program here, because that's the first thing you see when it opens. So I'm going to show you this, and I'm going to be back in just a moment. May not have violated BMI ASCAP, but I didn't want to take the chance of doing it that way. Uh, here's what happened uh, as far as the championships were concerned. Jim Lundo is still the heavyweight champion. Hiro Matsuda just upset Danny Hodge to become the junior heavyweight champion of the world. And we'll go over that in the recap of the undercard. And get these little dots out of the way. Previous to that, Jay Youngblood and Ricky Steamboat in record time almost defeated the Sheep Herders to become the new world tag team champions. Took them a minute and 14 to do it. Mildred Burke is now the women's champ, finally upending Betty Nikolai. Tokyo Sweethearts are now the longest reigning champions, active reigning champions in GSW. They are still the women's tag champs, but Mildred Burke and Ella Waldeck will be hot on their trails. Already had a few matches. Luthez is now the international champ. He just defeated Hiroyoshi Tenzan on this card. And we have new international champs. We had four title changes on the undercard. The Hells Angels. Actually, I have misspelled angels with an M and not an N. There we go. That's six. They just became the international tag champions. Now, let's show you what happened on the card in full. We had seven matches on the card. This was in Atlanta, Georgia, so there was some talent borrowed in from the Tampa and Charlotte circuits. Tokyo Sweethearts won uh, by lost by DQ to Waldeck and Young when the Crush Girls interfered. Crush Girls claiming that they should have been given a championship match with Waldeck and Young before they lost the titles uh, and were suspended. And uh, that'll be probably a big match somewhere in the future once Waldeck and Young. It, it seems to be inevitable that they will be World Tag Team Champions in the women's division a fifth time. Then Mildred Burke and Famul Fabulous Mula was the second bout. Burke won by countout. He, she keeps the title. Mula does not lose any rankings points in the interim. Then we had four straight title changes uh, before the... Um, the match we are about to do for the World Heavyweight title. We had the Crusaders lose to the Hells Angels in 1919. Ron Dupree pinning Crusader 2 with a series of punches. And you see me... Uh, I'll, I'll bring up the, the two combatants here in a moment. Here are Yoshi Tenzan over Lufez. We talked about that earlier. No, Lufez over Tenzan, I'm sorry, with a Fez Press, 1723. 
Youngbloods quickly dispatching the Sheepherders 71 seconds, and they become the World Tag Team Champions a fourth time. Everybody thought Danny Hodge would cruise over Hiro Matsuda. Eh, not to be. Matsuda wins in 228. It's the first time he has been junior heavyweight champion. He's won a couple of regional titles before that. And that brings us to our main event, which is going to be Jim Lundos against Jerry the King Lawler. Both kind of baby faces, but kind of have heel tendencies. And we'll make uh, Lundos the tweener. No, he doesn't have a manager because he, he is the champion. And we'll make uh, Lawler the baby face because he is the one pursuing the championship. And he's not too far from his home base in Memphis, Tennessee. This will be a one fall 60 minute time limit bout. All there must get a pinner submission before the match concludes with a result or before we reach the time limit of 60 minutes. It does not take a rocket scientist to know this is a tough one to call, but Vogue likes Lundos close, Tommy Vogel, Vogel uh, creator of this game that we use, Wrestling's Finest. Lundos should retain the title in a championship match. Both men set to computer usage which I will confirm. Londos has seven strategy cards that he's going to use randomly, and Lawler has six. So off we go. Pinholds. Surprise roll up at the start of the match, and not too far off a pin, as that third roll was 11. If it was one or two, then the match would have been instantly over. Illegal turnbuckle by Lawler. Both men are going to have stamina issues. Uh... Actually, I take that back. They're not going to have stamina issues because the stamina rating for Londos is 79.4 and Lawler is 63.4, meaning when they run out of those 79 and 63 points, their their pin ratings are going to go up fourfold. Like, 20, like if the King loses his 63 points, he goes up to 31. So Lawler it should not be a factor. Stamina should not be a factor early on. Both men kind of maneuvering for position here, a bunch of counters outside the ring am eight. Ring action, and Lundos uses arm holds. Legal whip into the ropes by Lundos on to Lawler. With an Irish whip. Lundos delivers a chop to Lawler's throat. So it's all Lundos here early, but it's very, very early in the match. Stomp to the leg. Lawler baits his opponent into attempting a move, allowing for an easy counter. We're three and a half minutes into about a souple. By Lawler on the Lundos for a minus 10. Legal turnbuckle move by Lawler. Lawler knows how to cheat. He's been a babyface and a heel many times in Memphis alone, even when he was by far the most dominating uh, grappler on the Memphis circuit. They would turn him heel every once and again just to raise the game of the other grapplers like Bill Dundee and Austin Idol and Dutch Mantel. Action happening outside the ring. Lundos jumps from the ring apron, nailing Lawler, who was on the arena floor. So it's about even at this point. A stomp by Lundos. A legal leg hold by Lundos. Legal leg hold by Lundos again with a reverse leg lock. And that's one of his pet moves is a leg lock. Legal arm hold by Lundos. Action happening outside the ring. Lundos stomping away on Lundos on the ring apron. And Lawler has lost the stamina level. He's back up to 65 points. That's a stamina loss of 10. So going good early for Lundos. And a legal throw by Lawler. No points. No pin there. No action. A legal arm hold by Lundos. Lundos does an old-time grappler. He just does the basic things and does them well. A souple by Lundos. Minus 10 off of Lawler. It's 26 off for Lundos and 84 off for Senor the King, as Lance Russell once said. Uh, Lawler has a cut. He is cut. Uh, nick above the left ear that causes blood to flow out rapidly. So that's a big loss of damage uh, by Lawler. 16, 15 off the stamina and 16 off for the cut. Pinhold by Lundos. No such luck. Nowhere near this time. Lawler probably still a little uh, rattled by the early pin attempt by Lundos. No action. Legal whip into the ropes. Kicked by Lundos. Legal whip to the ropes by Lundos on to Lawler. No pin. Auto control loss. 
Lawler goes for a body slam, but it's countered by Lundos. Outside the ring action, Lundos using punches. And Lundos way ahead on the stamina right now. A damage, minus 26 to minus 146. Legal forearm by Lundos. Submission move. And you're not going to go, well, I'll count it, but we know it's not going to work because that last number is a zero, and there's no way to get to a zero on this. It's not like roulette where you could roll a zero. Uh, kicked by Lundos. Suplex attempt by Lundos. All these moves connecting. Illegal choking by Lundos. And this is a very one-sided bout right now. Legal choking by Lundos. Submission move by Lundos. Lawler has lost another stamina level. He's at 35-35-2 on the pin rating. Legal punches by Lundos. And a submission move. It's not going to go, but we'll check it. Legal throw by Lundos. Lundos just... This is, this is a one-sided bout right now. Legal leg hold by Lundos. Lundos just beating him uh, pillar to post with the scientific moves. Cobra clutch by Lundos. Where did he learn that? Legal arm hold by Lundos. Lundos, leg lock, but countered by Lawler. Lawler taking a lot of damage, but he and he's a little busted up. Cut over the ear, but he's still fighting in there. Legal punches by Lawler. Illegal punches. Pin hold. By Londos, and Lawler kicks out of that, living to fight another few minutes at least, we think. Legal whip to the ropes by Londos. After a kick that was just above the belt line. And Lawler has lost another stamina level. Uh, going all downhill for Lawler. He's at 39-39-2 now. Lundos just putting a whooping on him at this point. No pin attempt. So far, we've had five pin attempts for uh, Lundos, just one for Waller. It's been very one-sided. Lundos attacking Waller outside the ring. Another ten-point loss. And Waller is pretty much down to it. It's like a poker player being down to just a few chips. Illegal punches by uh, Lundos on the Waller. Kicked by Waller. His first successful move in a while. Illegal punches by Lawler. He'll go to Fist City with anybody. No action by Lawler. Lawler with a chop. Comes back with a chop. And now... Uh, Lundos' damage is up to minus 42. And Lundos left the ring, get it, seeing that Lawler had gotten a bunch of moves off in a row, and that increases his stamina level by 10. So instead of being at minus 42, he is at minus 32. But still, Lawler, a sad citizen at this point. Specialty move. Airplane spin. And Jim Lundos has successfully defended the world title over Jerry the King Lawler. The time of the match was in the neighborhood of 25 minutes. Let me see. 23.55 was the time of the match. Lundos was extra focused in the match, and it showed as he performed a very high-level at, in defeating Jerry Lawler in convincing manner, the world title seems to be staying put for a long time. But with Danny Hodge losing, Hodge will become the number one contender for both the Junior Heavyweight Championship to regain it from Hiro Matsuda and the world title, as Hodge is still rated higher than anybody in singles right now. The match got a four-star rating, and it went 23-55. It was the highest rating match of the card so far. Uh, I don't think we had any other matches at four, but we had every match was at least two and a half, and we had a whole bunch of three and three and a halves tonight. So it was a good card to wrap up the first four weeks, and now we go through the circuits again, and champions will be found. Some grapplers who were pinned earlier in the four-month period uh, will now move to other places. So this has been Big Polly coming to you, wishing you well, Godspeed, and God bless, and we'll do it all again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.